Well, there is nothing, and I mean nothing more American than apple pie. And May the 13th, didn't know if you know this, National Apple Pie Day. But if I tried to show you how to make an apple pie, it would not be appealing. <laughs> so we called in the experts. Our guests are the winners of the Cooking Channel's Sugar Showdown, and they are the founders of the Buttermilk Sky Pie Shop chain. It's a couple I met while at a speaking event over in Eastern Tennessee whose business is blossoming for a very good reason. Their pies are amazing. Please welcome Scott and Meredith Layton. Good to have you guys here. Thank you. Meredith, nice to see you. I have tasted your pies, and I'm, I'm amazed. Both of you had grandmothers that were phenomenal cooks and bake experts. You uh, get married. Uh, both of you had very promising careers, and you quit those so that you could go into the pie-making business. That's amazing. And you're taking all those great recipes, the old-fashioned type, and now making it possible for everyone to get them because you ship all over the world. So how do we make an apple pie on Apple Pie Day? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we've got our apples here. Okay. And, um, you know, some people use a variety of apples, Fuji apples. We use the uh, good old green apple. Green apples. Yep. And so... Uh, what we're going to do is uh, start out with our coating that we're going to cook uh, coat the apples with. Okay. okay. So we're going to use some uh, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Good Rolling Stone some, song. Yes. Okay. Some cinnamon and allspice. Mm -hmm. Some regular granulated sugar. Okay. And some uh, just all-purpose flour. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just take this. You want to uh, mix that up for me? Sure. Just get it all yep, good and, this and stirred. Is just stir it up really good, and that'll coat the apples, and that'll yeah. get that good uh, liquidy goo in the in the apples. Yeah, we so, want some of that. Yeah. Knock these lumps out as best we can, right? Great job. Okay. So you want to pour that? it on top of the apples for me? You bet. There we Aren't go. I good at this, huh? <laughs> what do you think? Are you amazed? So I'm not going to get this on your suit. Oh, so, okay. Oh, so we're going to take a, a uh, spoon here, and we're going to... Incorporate that dry mix into the apples. And, uh, and green apples, that's interesting. You Granny know, Smith God apples. didn't make little green apples, and it doesn't rain in Indianapolis in the summertime. That's you know what that? they tell me. You know, yeah. it's, kind of, it's kind of appropriate. We use Granny Smith apples after, yeah. after our granny. Oh, that's you know? great. So, okay. There we go. They, they're too young to even know what we're talking about. No, that's wrong. <laughs> All right. So once we get those apples good and coated, we're going to take them and pour them in our uh, crust. And with, this is our shortbread crust that we use in our store. Uh, but feel free, if you've got your uh, mother's favorite uh, crust that you want to use, mm -hmm. grandmother's, then you can use that too. But this or, is like from your grandmother's, right? At my granny, she used a flaky crust. Yes. Okay, but okay. this is what we use in our buttermilk sky. We use okay. a shortbread crust. Shortbread so, crust. Yep, right. so we're going to pour these apples in here. Try not to make too big of a mess. I don't worry. I don't have to clean it up. I <laughs> there we go. <laughs> And so what we're going to do is I like to mound them up in the middle. Leave a little bit along the edge over mm -hmm. here and then poke those down in there. And then now what we're going to do is set this to the side. Okay. And we're going to make our crumble. Okay. And so what that is, is we'll take a little pinch of salt. Again, our cinnamon and allspice. Mm -hmm. gr uh, regular sugar. Brown sugar. And then... Add some more flour to this. And if you want to, you can stir that up for me. Oh, yeah. Getting really good at this. You're doing I may get job. a job at the you Buttermilk know, Sky Pie we could, Factory. We're going to call you up in uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, that'd be great. If I get to sample some of the product as I work. That's right. So now once that's mixed up really good, we're okay. going to take some butter. Oh, yeah. We're going to add this butter in there. You want to scoop yeah, that let's in get there that for me? Don't want to miss any of the butter. That's right. Good. You want your butter to be good and cold, One. too. Really oh, really? Yes. Oh, well, that's it. I would have thought just the opposite. And so what I'm going to do now is okay. take a pastry cutter. Okay. And I'm going to incorporate the butter into that. Beating that thing up, aren't mm -hmm. you? You want that butter to get in there, and that, that forms that good crust on top that we like mm. to. And, you know, some... People like to, on their apple pies, ours is a Dutch, what we call Dutch apple. And uh, some people put a lattice on top, and some people do a, another crust. And so we're going to take this now. Okay. Uh, and 
pour this on top of the apple pie. And I'm gonna make a mess, as usual. And what we're gonna do is fan this out on the top. And we want to go around the edges. Sorry about the mess here. That's all right. You're gonna clean this up. I just yes, want to know. that's right. <laughs> and so we wanna put it around the edges, seal it up really good, and then put it in a preheated oven, okay. uh, 375, and bake it for 45 minutes. That's Some cool. ovens, look a little yep, good. and the crumble will look you know, mm. like this uh, right before it's baked. And so uh, we have some samples of our apple pies here, and we have uh, uh, a slice here that we got for you, so you can try Well, that. I guess I will, if you insist. <laughs> uh, if you want more of the perfect apple pie, you go to Huckabee.tv. We will direct you to the Buttermilk Sky Pie Shop. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.